So maybe you're getting close to that retirement age and starting to consider retiring somewhere as like me, like I am. And the Philippines comes up as a very interesting place. My wife's from there. There's a lot of things that kind of draw me towards thinking about retiring in the Philippines. And if you're watching this video, most likely maybe you're thinking about retiring in the Philippines too. So let's look at some things to consider before we make the jump and really decide what we're gonna do. I mean, before making such an important decision like where you're gonna retire, there are some essential things that need to be taken into consideration and that's what we're looking at in this video. So let's take a look at some key aspects that will help you and me make an informed decision. The affordability of living expenses is often a significant draw for retirees in the Philippines. Compared to many Western countries, the cost of living, healthcare, and daily essentials can be relatively lower. However, it's crucial to research and evaluate the specific region or city you plan to retire in, because costs can vary from city to city. Access and quality health care is vital consideration for retirees. The Philippines often offers a mix of public and private health care options. While private hospitals provide excellent care, they can be more expensive. Additionally, ensure that you have comprehensive health, in health insurance coverage that suits your needs, including coverage for any pre-existing conditions. There can be a really significant difference in the quality and availability of health care that's available to you when you're living in the Philippines compared to like a place like Davao that has hospitals or living way out in an area like Ashishan or that you know doesn't have maybe have a major hospital but a clinic or something like that. I'll give you an example. We were traveling around through, we went through Tagum, we were in Ashishan and my wife needed a medical examination and we found in Ashishan there was a place a little medical clinic and we showed up there early in the morning to seek this examination we had to wait we got there early they weren't open yet but when they did open we we went in only to find out that the doctor wasn't there that day he wasn't there he had been called away on an emergency and thus that delayed the checkout that my wife needed to receive and we had to travel somewhere else to get it done now it all worked out in that situation. I mean, she wasn't in a dire emergency situation, you know, um, so we were able to have time to go and find another avenue for her to get her examination that she needed and everything worked out okay. But think about that. Think about the, con the pre-existing conditions that you may have. And if something was to spring up and you were in the middle of nowhere or a province somewhere where medical care isn't quite as available and handy as it is in major areas maybe that would be an area that you would would it be a strong motivation of not retiring somewhere where there's not enough medical availability and maybe thinking about a place like Davao or maybe Dumaguete or Cebu or even maybe Manila where it's a bigger city and there's more hospitals and more medical available for you. There's also things like getting comprehensive health care insurance. We're not going to dig real deep into like health insurance that you can get or anything like that in this video. I think that's going to be up and coming video. This video is just meant kind of like as a groundbreaking start of things to consider when you're just starting, you know, that planning for the Philip, you know, for moving to the Philippines or anywhere. Another thing to consider is the climate. The climate in the Philippines for the most part is very tropical. It's warm weather pretty much, I mean, well, year round. And there are some cooler places and some higher elevations there. So, I mean, if you're, I mean, what are you used to? Like for me, I've, I've li I have not from Florida, but I've lived in Florida for, for a very long time. So I'm used to a tropical climate and I enjoy the beaches and things like that. But you have to consider that if you're not into tropical climate, hot weather, that's something that you're going to get in the Philippines and you'll be disappointed if you show up and you're expecting something different. So definitely consider the climate. It would also be wise to look at the activities that are available for you to do. I mean, because you're not just going to sit at home all the time. I'll give you an example. Hold on, I have to clean my glasses. So let's say you enjoy playing golf, you know, and you are a golf connoisseur. 
okay? You're used to playing at places like the Doral and places that the P, you know, PGA Tour goes to. You like ex nice, expensive resorts that offer the highest quality of golf that you can get. And you're used to that, okay? Well, when you retire in the Philippines, yeah, you could probably find some communities where there are golf courses, and I'm sure very nice golf courses, but is it gonna be to the standards and the quality that you're used to? Um, is there enough variety that will keep you interested? Are you gonna just miss home so bad because you know you missed the green monster at Doral? Um, you, that's something to consider. If that's something that you know you can't live without, then maybe you could consider other options. One thing I can tell you firsthand about the culture, um, Philippine culture is so hospitable and warm, um, friendly, in my experience. Uh, one of the things that my wife loves to do is, and, and her friends is sing karaoke. And I never, I never was considered myself a karaoke person or sing karaoke or anything like that. I never really sang at all until I started trying to do things with my wife. And that was one of the things that came up that she really enjoyed doing. So I put in the effort and did it. And now I enjoy singing karaoke. It is fun. We'd have, you know, a few beers and sit around, socialize with friends and, you know, turn it loose, you know, <laughs> and, it, and it, it's a lot of fun. So if you're open to new things, um, I think you could really, you'll really find that the culture is so hospitable and warming. You'd probably enjoy that part of it. Um, that's just something else to consider that, you know, maybe they won't have the best five star golf courses that you're used to playing at, but maybe there's other things that will outweigh that that will be even more enjoyable to you like the company of other people and things like that, then I think in the Philippines, that's what that for me, that's where it really wins out. It's just the hospital, hospita the hospitality, you know, the so easy to make friends. And um, yeah, those are just some things. Safety is an important consideration in any retirement destination. While the majority of the areas of the Philippine are, Philippines are safe, it's advisable to research the specific area and region and city that you're considering. Look for look into crime rates, the presence of expat communities, other expats, and the availability of security measures in your area. For the longest time, I was told that the island of Mindanao is unsafe. Don't go. My wife is from the island of Mindanao. And she said no, you know. And so I, I looked into it. Yes, if you look like on the US State Department Department's map, they put the island in different colors. And a lot of the islands in yellow, some of it's in red. I would say if, if you're just to exercise some caution, be aware of your surroundings. The, the island of Mindanao is safe. I've met some of the most, some of my most favorite people in the world on that island. Some of the most friendliest people. It's not all bad. Yeah, there may be some pockets of evil like there is anywhere in the world. But I would give you this advice. Let's say you're trying to stay safe, okay? And you're not even in the Philippines. You're here in the United States. Why would you go to the worst areas of town, right? I've watched a lot of videos and talked to a lot of people in the Philippines where they have complained about Oh man, I got my, my cell phone stolen. Somebody tried to rob me. Okay, where were you? Come to find out, they were in a red light district somewhere. Why would you go to a red light district anywhere here? Even, even in the United States, you wouldn't show up to an Avenue D in Fort Pierce, if you know where that's at, and expect not to get robbed. You wouldn't show up to some suburb in Detroit, you know, and not expect something bad to happen. I mean, it's the same there. If, if you go to places of high crime rates and areas that are suspect, then things can happen. And it's just like that anywhere you go, not just the Philippines. It's like that here or any other country in the entire world. 
So I think if you use a level head and some common sense and you know research the areas, you can keep safe. There's no doubt. Philippines is a very safe place, I believe. Another thing to consider is the infrastructures and the amenities that are in the area that you're considering. So consider the availability and the quality of infrastructure and amenities that matter to you. Are you going to own a car? Do you want nice roads? Um, transportation. What kind of transportation are you going to have? You know, are you going to take public transportation anywhere? So if you don't plan on own, owning a car, you're going to have to get around. You're going to have to take either public transportation or taxis or things like that. Make sure you stay in an area that has that stuff available. Another, another thing to consider, I guess, when retiring in the Philippines is um, the visa and legal considerations. Um, I know you can, you can show up and they'll give you 30 days and then before the end of the 30 days you can go and you can extend that and you can keep extending that to about a year and then you'll have to leave the country and come back and you can start all over again. But those extensions and stuff like that, all that stuff does cost money. Um, there's another way you could go for a retirement visa. That's another option you could look into. Um, you need to consider all the factors like what would be best for you. Take the time and research the different options, whether it be retirement visa or just visa extensions. Um, look into the requirements, restrictions, and the process involved. You can consult with an immigration authorities and seek professional advice to ensure that you're compliant to all the laws. Um, that's definitely a consideration to look into and know before you go what you're getting yourself into for sure. Retirement in the Philippines can offer a fulfilling and affordable lifestyle. There's no doubt. Um, I've seen plenty of videos, and I'm sure you have too, of the budgets that people live on. And I've seen people anywhere saying that they can live on $1,000 a month um, if you're just by yourself. And, and I've seen people with a lot higher than that. And, and if you have somewhere in between, you could probably for sure live quite well, you know? Um, if you're somebody, one thing to look into, what assets do you have here? You know, what, what are you going to have? Do you have, if you have a pension, um, if you have social security and maybe you, if you, if you own a house here, I don't, what are you going to do with your house? I mean, you could literally go over there with a lot of capital. You could rent your house here and have that as an income. There's a lot of things to consider, but it's definitely a lot more affordable in the Philippines than it is here. And I think if you can go over there with, you know, say 2500 a month, you could probably live very well, maybe even have a maid, things like that, live very comfortably. So, of course, the retirement in the Philippines can offer a fulfilling and affordable lifestyle, but it's crucial, it's critical to carefully consider these factors before making a decision. So let's go through them again. Your cost of living. Make a budget. What can you afford? And then once you make your budget and you know what you can afford, well, how much money you're going to have when you retire, month to month, see what, you know, start looking for an area where you're thinking about retiring and look at the cost of living in that area and make sure it fits your budget. Number two, got to consider health care. Here, a lot of, you know, when you're working all your life, a lot of companies have provide health care and you do, you know, you, it's a very minimal cost out of your paycheck. You don't even notice it over the years. But when you leave the United States and you show up in the Philippines, health care is going to be something you definitely want to have. Look at what pre-existing conditions you already have. Is it feasible for you to even get the care that you'll need in the Philippines? And will you be able to afford that care? And is there maybe an option for health care, you know, or maybe there's an option for a health care insurance? Is it affordable? What options are they? Will they accept pre-existing conditions? You need to know all of that right off the bat. Like, you, you need to have that figured out before you even leave. Number two, the climate and lifestyle. Is the Philippines going to offer you? Is it the climate going to, are you going to be able to handle the climate, the heat? Um, Will you enjoy the climate? I think it's how can you not enjoy, enjoy tropical beaches and stuff? I know that sounds kind of crazy, but yeah, but can, can, you, can you handle that? It, it, is the heat going to 
spring any metal con conditions that might it might spring up on you or make it worse is it going to be the lifestyle can uh, that you can enjoy a more laid back less hustle and bustle time's not going to matter as much um, lifestyle is that something that you can handle or are you going to be you know just going crazy because things aren't going fast enough something to consider safety and security in the area that you're going to that you're going to live that's an important thing very 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 important thing to consider when you're thinking about living in the philippines you want to make sure that you're in a safe area you know what kind of resources are there in case something goes wrong who are you going to call you know who's going to show up if something bad happens that's definitely something to consider i would also suggest saying that before you even think about for sure on a place to visit, you need to visit there. You need to get boots on the ground, go to the Philippines, visit a couple of different areas. You know what I mean? Spend some time and learn the places that you're thinking about retiring in before you just show up. See what it's like firsthand. See if it's gonna have the activities and things that you enjoy to do. Make sure that it has ad you know, adequate transportation, something that you're used to or can tolerate. Make sure that the supermarkets, that you'll be able to find what you're looking for to eat. You know, you may, may find it surprising that foods are a lot different. Those are all things to consider, but you, you can't do that from here in the United States. You need to go there firsthand and experience it. Another thing, visa considerations the visa visa and legal considerations like how are you going to do it are you just going to extend out and then leave the country after when you're forced to and then come back and start it all over again or are you going to look into getting a retirement visa what does all that cost can you afford it definitely something you need to know ahead of time before you even go like i said before retirement in the philippines can offer a fulfilling and affordable lifestyle but it's crucial to carefully consider these factors before making a decision. Take the time to visit and experience the country firsthand, connect with the local communities, and consult a financial advisors or retirement specialist who can provide valuable guidance. Remember, retirement is a personal journey to find the perfect destination that meets your unique needs and desires, and it's key to have a happy and fulfilling retirement. So may your retirement years be filled with joy, adventure, and cherish the memories. Hey, I'm Scott. If you like this type of content, please hit the like button. Make a comment. Let me know where you're thinking about retiring at. You know, when? Are you, are you almost ready? Have you started looking into it? Are you just starting to look into it? Let me know in the comments. If you like this type of con content though, I'm gonna start making a lot more of it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you get notifications of uh, future videos. We're gonna go boots on the ground pretty soon and we'll check it out and check out some places. And uh, yeah, hey, I'm Scott, this is my journey and I'll see you in the next video.